Shark Games here coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition command tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on using the title raw command to show a score on the action bar on the bottom of the screen there. So you can see that it shows my name, Arctic Shark Games, a score name, which we're using in the score objective of coins, and it shows my objective balance, which is 2,450 coins in this particular case. So this is a pretty handy command to use around the server. I use this in my bank and I use a uh, DX, DY, DZ area to choose which players get it. Um, you could do anything you'd like to. You could do a radius, a DX, DY, DZ. You could do a tag, a score, whatever you'd like to do um, to decide who gets the message. And then you can go ahead and use a repeat always active command block. And you're going to want to locate that command block. In my case, is going to be located on site because I'm using a radius. So I would have put this underneath my bank in this example. And the command is execute at anyone within a radius of 100. And that's where you would go ahead and use your tag or your DXDY or whatever you'd like to do to choose the person. And then we'll go tilde 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 forward slash title raw at self and then we're going to do action bar title not a regular title and then we're going to go ahead and open up our squiggly brackets for the raw text we're going to put the word raw text inside quotation marks and then we're going to put a colon we're going to open up a square set of brackets a squiggly set of brackets a set of quotation marks we're going to write the word text and then we're going to go ahead and close those quotation marks put a colon and close the other two sets of quotation marks and then we're going to go ahead and close our first squiggly bracket now we're going to put a comma to divide that and we're going to go into the selector section so we're going to put the word c selector inside of squiggly brackets and quotations we're going to put a comma or a we're going to put a colon to divide those two and then we're going to put at self in quotations there to choose who's getting it so we're going to go ahead and choose our own self to receive the message in this case and then we're going to put a comma to divide that we're going to put the word text in quotations with a colon and then we're going to choose our actual message inside of quotation marks so for me I wanted a space between the person's name and the words coin balance so I went ahead and put a space there then you can see I used the squiggly symbol with the lowercase a to choose my green and then I put another squiggly symbol at the end there after the word balance just to go ahead and choose the color back to white I used the lowercase f and then at this point we're done with our coin balance word so we put a quotation at the end of it if you notice after my little colon that's a decorative colon there I actually put a space way over here this also is because I wanted to have a space between the words coin balance and the word score. So if you're getting your words all mashed up, you just want to add a couple of spaces in those areas there. So we're going to close down our squiggly bracket here. We got a comma. Then we're going to open up a new squiggly bracket here. And we got the word score in quotations. Now this is where we're going to choose what score we're using. So we're going to put a colon. We're going to open up a new set of squiggly brackets. And then we're going to do quotations around the word name and then we're going to do a colon and then we're going to do quotations around the word self so that's whose score is getting chosen and then we're going to put quotations around the word objective and we're going to put quotations around the word coins in my case so this is the name of the scoreboard objective and then you're going to go ahead and type in all those brackets that we had opened up. So we got two squigglies to close, one square and one squiggly. And then you can see I threw a G at the end, which was just trash. So after you get all that complex jarble there, you should end up with a action bar command here on the bottom, which should show your name. And then it would have whatever text you wrote there. And then it would have the score from whatever objective you wrote there. If you guys found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe over here at Arctic Shark Games on YouTube and Arctic Shark Games on Twitch. And if you guys are having a little bit of trouble with any of these raw text, raw titles, or any other really bedrock commands, feel free to go ahead and jump in the Shark Commanders Discord. I will throw a link in the description as well as in the comments. Thank you very much for watching, and keep commanding.